Hey guys, welcome to vtshacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss about contradiction. So in our previous videos we have discussed about connectives like disjunction, conjunction, implication and by implication. So here in this presentation let us learn about contradiction. So here a proposition which is always false is called as a contradiction. And now let me explain this concept with the help of an example over here. So here we have a compound statement P and not P. So first let us draw a truth table of three columns. So the first column here shows the truth value for the statement P and the second column gives the truth value for not P and here the last column gives the truth value for the compound statement P and not P. So here if the truth value of the statement P is true then not P would come as false and hence the truth value for the compound statement P and not P would be a false statement. And if P is a false statement then not P would come as a true statement and here by using the definition of conjunction we get the truth value of P and not P as a false. Here we observe that the last column of the truth table contains the false statement. So we call this type of statements as a contradiction. Now let us consider another example. So here we have a compound statement P and not Q and not P or Q. First let us consider the statement as R. And now let us try truth table. So here the first two column gives the truth value for P and Q and the third and fourth column gives the truth value for not P and not Q. And here the fifth column gives the truth value for the compound statement P and not Q and similarly the fifth column gives the truth value for the compound statement not P or Q and the last column gives the truth value for the compound statement P and not Q and not P or Q which is nothing but R. So here if both the statements P and Q are the true then the truth value for not P and not Q would come as false. And hence by using the definition of conjunction the truth value for P and not Q would also come as a false statement. And here by using the definition of disjunction the truth value for not P or Q would come as true. And here in the last column the truth value of the statement P and not Q and not P or Q would come as false. And here if P is true and Q is false then the truth value for not P would be false and not Q would be true. And hence the truth value for P and not Q would be true statement and not P or Q would be a false statement. And by using the definition of conjunction we get the truth value in the last column as a false statement. And here if this truth value of this statement P is false and Q is true then the truth value for not P would be true and not Q would be a false statement. And therefore the truth value for P and not Q would be a false and not P or Q would be a true statement. And by using the definition of conjunction we get the truth value for P and not Q and not P and Q as a false statement. And here if both the statements P and Q are the false statements then the truth value for not P and not Q would be a true statement and hence P and not Q would come as false and not P or Q would be a true statement and in the last column the truth value for the statement R would be a false statement. So here we observe that the last column of the truth table contains only false values so we call this type of a compound statement as a contradiction. So this was a basic introduction on contradiction. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vtshacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.